Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So first things first, I'm giving you just a little bit of a heads up. My microphone has horrible feedback so we're going to attempt this video without a microphone and just see what the camera can do until I can get my Rode mic in just so we can get some better audio and I took your feedback. We've got a white background. It probably looks wrinkled. I didn't have time to get the steamer out because I really wanted to get this video up. So here we go for the intro. Okay, so um, BoxyCharm released some spoilers, I believe, today, which is Thursday, which is Friday for you, so yesterday. So I decided to take it upon myself to give you my educated guess on what these items were going to be. So <clears throat> they said we were going to get something from Smashbox and Laura Lee Los Angeles. I used my detective skills, figured out what was on sale from both brands, and uh, I think I know what we're getting, and I have them both already on hand. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a few more spoilers of brands that we should be receiving, maybe this month, maybe later on. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and try out these two things for you, tell you my thoughts, because I've used them a lot. And that is what we're doing today. So the first thing they spoil is that we will be getting something from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Now, I was not aware of this, but I looked in some forums and apparently her cat's pajamas palette has been on sale a lot recently. So here's what the inside looks like. I literally have had this palette on hand since it launched. I'm a huge fan of Laura Lee, so I had to have that palette. And I guess if you want to click off the video now, I'll go ahead and tell you that our other item is, of course, Smashbox. I looked on Ulta and Smashbox's website. The only thing that really makes sense that we might get and we haven't gotten in a while is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And this is really and honestly, this was my holy grail for probably the first year or so that I used makeup. It's a solid primer. What is on sale right now is the travel size, which will be about this big and it's on sale for $10 almost everywhere so I'm thinking that's it though I really hope I'm wrong because I really want to try one of their liquid lipsticks and I just haven't bit the bullet and bought it yet so those are our for sure two brand spoilers with my educated guesses next I'm gonna go ahead and try out the palette show you how foundation lays on top of that primer and give you some future spoilers. So if you want the future spoilers, go ahead and skip ahead probably to the last couple of minutes if you don't really care about my tutorial. But I really hope you'll watch because I've been playing with this palette. I haven't done a tutorial in so long and I have been dying to do one anyways. So perfect opportunity. So let's go ahead and get into our tutorial. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first in true Laura Lee fashion, I have already primed my eyelids with soft ochre mac paint pot everyone knows she uses that for everything where concealer would normally go and she uses it to prime her eyelids so that is what i did now i'm going to go ahead and take this palette and set everything down with okie dokie right here this is a very nice white shade it is easy to work with and it will set your eyeshadow primer in no time that is one of my favorite shades and that is so dumb because it's just a white shade but I love it. Every palette needs a good matte white. I'm a firm believer. So then I'm going to go into Balm Diggity which she actually named that because she intended this to be kind of everybody's transition shade. Now there is a little bit of kickback from this palette but I mean it's nothing crazy. Pretty minimal not really even to the annoying level if I'm being honest and kickback does bother me in any kind of excess but this is not bad at all you just tap your brush off go ahead and go in be sure you blend but you do want to tap that brush off because these shades are super pigmented and you can't get out of control pretty easy with any good eyeshadow honestly so I'm just going to keep blending this and making a good transition 
in that crease. Okay, so we're zoomed in a little bit more because we're going to do a little more detail work now. First thing I'm going to do to detail is I'm going to go into Kooky right here. This is a really nice uh, burgundy shade. I'm going to take that pretty heavy and I'm going to put this, you guessed it, if you watch my looks, we're about to do a halo because I'm super into those now and I wasn't when I got her palette, but I love those now. So we're going to do a quick halo eye. So we're just going to stamp it in where we want it, which is going to be all through here. And in the inner corner, right through here, and just really stamp it in when you're doing this. If you're careful, you don't even really have to tap your brush off because we're going to go back and blend everything towards the end anyways. But we're just going to stamp it in here, creating that desired shape, and bring it across the top in the crease, just like so to create this nice burgundy outer edge for our halo and just really building it up and making sure we have got the intensity that we want and being sure that it's also really dark in this outer corner. I am doing my eyes before my foundation because when I pack shades on like this I know that it's very possible I'll get some fallout or when I'm stamping right here I may get shadow under my eye. This way I can go back and clean it up later if I need to, which honestly right now it's not looking like I'm going to too terribly bad. Okay, so now with a slightly smaller brush, I know I look crazy, give it a minute. We are going to go into Oddball. Yes, this is black. No, it is not so crazy pigmented that it's impossible to work with. Has a tiny bit of sparkle, but not so much that you can't use it as a matte shadow. So we are going to pick this up. Be sure to get that off. And we are going to deepen up this outer corner just a little bit. And we might have gone a little crazy, but that's okay. And we're just going to stamp this in this outer corner. We're not going to blow it out too far and just drag it across the crease a little bit, keeping it low. And then also take just the tiniest bit and dab it in this inner corner as well, just to make sure that we've got this nice and deep and dramatic. And that's where we're gonna leave it for this portion of the eye. Okay, so that we can be sure this halo goes exactly like it's supposed to, we're going to take a little bit of this MAC Paint Pot on a flat brush and just lay it down right here in the center where we are going to put this halo and drag it up and over to be sure we have got a blank base to lay down. You guessed it, our shadow. Okay, so on top of that, we are going to take In One Ear, which honestly is one of my favorite colors in this whole palette. It is so pigmented. It is just incredible. And we're going to take it on a flat shader brush and pick it up and place it over that concealer. And we may go back in with a finger in just a second to be sure this is super intense, but honestly it is working super well with just this brush and i know i know this is not very halo-y yet bear with me we will get there i promise but this does work incredibly well with just a brush this is completely dry that's what i love about laura's palettes they do intensify if you wet them but I mean, honestly, you don't have to, which is super nice in a shadow. I always appreciate that. Okay, so for the final step on the top of this eye, we are going to take Scatterbrain, which is a super gorgeous light gold right here. And look at what we're going to do. We're going to take this shade, same brush, and pop it right in the center 
and this is going to further give us that spotlight effect and just make things even brighter than they already are which honestly it's looking pretty dark but this will bring some light to this look and it blends so good and then we're going to take this and put it in this inner corner and a little bit at the front of the lid just like that and for our last trick we are going to take out the other this is a bit of a satin and we are going to take it on my favorite brush for my lash line and we're just going to bring this really close in this is a bit of a purple satin and we're going to bring this super close in on the lash line and see what it can do and I think this really matches with that crease super well so <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put the primer on and give you a little bit of details about that then I'll go finish the rest of my face off camera like usual but this primer it is clear it is definitely silicone based when you get it out it's just a nice clear consistency it definitely is one of my favorites. It's not a poor filler, but it does make your makeup last a lot longer. There's no need to go crazy with it. Just a little on the cheeks, the forehead, and the chin. And it goes a super, super long way. So you don't need a lot. So even if we do get this and it is the travel size, it'll last for quite some time. I honestly, this jumbo tube probably is expired I would bargain to say I've had it for close to two years and I haven't even gone through half of it and I did use this daily for quite some time so that's the eyes but we are gonna go and get some lighter and lashes because you know that makes everything look better and do our face makeup and I will be right back to tell you the spoilers maybe for this month maybe for the rest of the year we don't quite know yet but I'll be right back guys okay so the whole face is done the hair is back down and looking crazy but this is the final product let's zoom in so you can see the eyes as you can see everything blends so well super pretty I used everything dry you know trying to give it its own shot to do everything on its own and everything layers on top of that primer like magic I absolutely love it so here is what I have to say about these products I've already told you these are products that I already know that I really really love and I'm so excited that everyone's gonna get a chance to use them of course if that is for sure what we get they're gonna go in a giveaway yay giveaway and y'all already know I have my 5k giveaway going whenever y'all decide to get me to 5k you know we will give away a big bundle of stuffs but Okay, so for the rest of the year, spoilers, what I have heard, I don't know for sure, we never know for sure, but what I have heard is that there will be some Cap on D, and there will be some Hank and Henry, which I think with that, it's going to be one of their eye duos, I think that's what they are, um, with Cap on D, if I had to guess, I know Allure just had a Cap on D box, um, that did include, some of them had the long wear liquid lipsticks not mine and they had like the tattoo liner and stuff so maybe it'll be one of those who knows we shall see but yes those are just a couple more before the end of the year spoilers of things that we're probably going to be getting no guarantee that these are the products we're going to get but with my educated guesses and seeing what's basically been on sale lately and knowing how subscription boxes typically work i'm going to take a wild guess and say 
that's probably what we're getting and I'm cool with that and I hope y'all are too. Let me know in the comments how you feel about those products. Are you excited? Are you bummed? Are you going to sign up just because you want this month? Like I have a friend who's going to sign up just because he really wants the Laura Lee palette and uh yeah $21 just for that palette is like freaking incredible because it was $45. That's what I paid for it. So yeah that's amazing. So yes that is it for this video. I apologize we did not get a full face Friday in today but I promise I will have them coming. They're being pre-recorded this week. Um, not next week but the couple of weeks after that I'm going to be out of town so everything will be pre-recorded the last week of this month and the first week of August. If there's anything major that needs to be hit immediately I'm not going to get it because <laughs> I'm gonna be gone for work but that's okay we're just gonna pre-record some super good content and y'all are gonna love me and watch it because I promise y'all it'll be good so I'll have wear tests full faces and tutorials on our usual schedule no breaking news or anything like that but yes yes I'm rambling again and I'm playing with my hair because it's driving me crazy but yeah that is it for today's video I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you on Monday Bye, you guys.